Uh, hello friends, this is Dr. Vinod and today I am going to show you an ECG with uh, of a patient with right bundle branch block and here you can see this is a you can see a small R wave an S wave and then again an R wave this is a RSR prime or RSR dash wave you can see it here also this is a big R then S and a small R this is an RSR wave in lead V1 where R wave uh, primarily signifies the right ventricle so and also you can see if you enlarge it yes. okay and you can see uh, it, the uh, QRS duration is also increased the QRS uh, complex duration is 1, 2, 3 a little bit more than 3 uh, three uh, around three three and a half. There's more than one twenty ms or uh, one twenty milliseconds. Um, okay, so QRS duration or uh, wide QRS is also present here. Uh, this is was also one of the criteria of uh, right bundle branch block, and also we can see uh, inversion of T wave. Okay, in the V one lead V one. We can see uh, also see an inversion of T wave, and also in lead V6, we'll see a deep S wave, which shouldn't be so deep here. This is a deep S wave, and um, it is a bit S wave is also a bit wider, and uh, so we can say it is slurred uh, S wave, and also in uh, lead one, here yeah, we can see. slurred S wave so almost all the criteria are present in this uh, patient for right bundle branch block that is a slurred S wave in uh, the uh, lead 1 and lead V6 also a presence of R wave in lead V1 also it is present in lead V2 and the discordance of T wave in the opposite direction of the terminal uh, terminal wave in V1 and also the rhythm here you can see it is sinus that is coming from sinoatrial node so this patient has RBV or right bundle branch block thank you uh, if you like the video kindly rate and please subscribe to the channel thank you